Hello everybody, Groovy Noob here. Um, if you're like me, you love to take a few minutes away from studying or whatever you happen to be doing to play a little silly little flash game, just a casual little something to take your mind off your work. Well, guess what? If you've been running out of flash games, I've got five more for you. These are my five favorites and we are starting right now. Number five, Realm of the Mad God. Now, at first this game kind of annoyed me because everything's about the money. They want you to buy Realm Gold. Uh, putting that aside, though, I'm pretty sure you can get whatever you need just by grinding. You don't need the gold. This is just like this silly little two-dimensional MMORPG. It's a lot of fun to play. You can get casual and get a guest account. If you really think you're going to be playing it a lot, you might want to get a permanent account. Uh, but it's it's really not a big deal. This game is adorable, and the gameplay is awesome. It's just kind of a fun little pew pew pew. You have to start as a wizard, of course, because they want you to buy your classes. But after a little while, you can switch classes. I think the first one you can unlock is a priest. And if you really want to keep going, you can just keep leveling up and getting more powerful. However, if you die, you will lose your levels, so that's kind of a downside for a casual gamer. On all, though, this is a fun game, and I would definitely recommend it. Speaking of pew pew pew, if you like Call of Duty Modern Warfare, anything like this, this is your flash fix when you're away from your console, or if you just like shooting things. You play as four different snipers in fixed positions, and they send you different challenges. The graphics on this game is pretty good compared to most of our list. Um, the most realistic, I guess I would say. It's kind of silly, you know, headshots give you money, cr crates give you money, everything gives you money. But you know what? It's a fun little game. Uh, it does take some getting used to, though, because occasionally they'll give you positions like on a rooftop, there's a sniper on the balcony, whatever. Once you learn those positions, you can take them out, but otherwise you're just kind of on your own. And that is Team Sniper. Definitely recommend it. Coming in at number three on our list is Fancy Pants. This is a little flash parkour game, and it is a lot of fun. It's difficult to get used to the controls. Your character does a lot of sliding around, but it's really satisfying to be able to run and jump over your own head, and, and it's just a really well-put-together game. Uh, it's fun graphics. I mean, this is Mario. If you take away, like, the little pixelated plumber and put in some guy in Fancy Pants, um... It's got the old-timey mechanics, you got to jump on enemies to kill them. It's easy to die, but the graphics are just fun. And, if you get tired with the first world, there's always a second one. This one's a definite yes. Number two on our list is Boxhead. This is a fun shooter game. You're shooting demons, you're shooting uh, zombies. I don't know what you're shooting, but you're shooting pretty much everything. And you've got to kill them as fast as possible because there's a kill counter at the top that is constantly ticking down. The more kills you have at one time, the better your upgrades. You can play this game pretty much anywhere. You've got a lot of different settings that you can work with. There are multiple levels. Uh, death is certain, though, and you can die in a number of ways. One, the devils can get you. Two, you can get beaten to death. It doesn't really matter, but it is a lot of fun. This is my second favorite game for a reason, and although the controls can take a little getting used to, I really, really like this one. All right, game number one on our list is called Kingdom Rush, and I gotta warn you, I'm a sucker for tower defense, but this is not your classic tower defense. You have four towers, you can upgrade them. You got the wizard tower, you got barracks, you have the archer tower, and you have the bombardment tower, the artillery tower. But this isn't a game, like with most tower defense, you set up your towers, enemies come in, and that's all there is to it. This is not that simple. It's got great sounds, it's got silly graphics, and it's more uh, interactive than most tower defense games. For instance, you can rain fire from the sky, you can upgrade during a battle, you can also call in reinforcements, buy special abilities, it has a great setting, great plot line, and it's got friends that you get in certain levels, for instance, you have the Sasquatch, you've got knights, you've got elven warriors, it's just really, really great game. It can be really challenging, don't be fooled by the silliness of it, and I would definitely recommend this game if you like tower defense, or if you just want to try something new. Well, there you go. This has been Groovy Noob's five favorite Flash games. Peace, love, butterflies, and unicorns. I am out.